Brothers and sisters, good evening. It is my privilege to be one of the sharers. It is finished. The words of Jesus at the cross. I can't imagine Jesus uttering these words while he was suffering in pain. He has given his all for us. It is finished reflects triumph and love. Jesus fulfilled the scripture and finished what he had started at the Passover. The Lord Jesus came from nowhere before he began his earthly life. What do we know and believe as the Holy Catholic Church teaches us is that he is one of the three persons in the Godhead and that it was through him that every creature came to be. He is God the Son, the second person who was the promised Redeemer of our sins. As God, He has no beginning, but as man, He became one like us when He was conceived by the Blessed Virgin Mary. This started the beginning of His earthly life. He went through the same process like any one of us. Our earthly beginning, our earthly life, started at the very moment of our conception, so does the Lord. The earthly life would end in death. Jesus already knew of his crucifixion prior to it happening, but Jesus did only what is good and pleasing to the Father. Out of obedience to him, he allowed evil men to do him injustice and such cruelty. In exchange for our sins, he who was sinless made himself the sin to be offered to the Father. We pray with him on the cross, lifting to him all our pains, difficulties, sufferings, and tribulations of the world, and hoping to say, It is finished. What was left that the Lord hasn't done in order to accomplish his task of redeeming the world of its sinful nature? He has finished his mission, but the church has to continue proclaiming his gospel. The world in every generation and those yet to come needed to hear the same words of the Lord. The world needed to accept in faith everything that the Lord taught his disciples so as to be able to reach the finish line towards the gate where all the saints were able to enter and are now enjoying eternal bliss and joy with the risen Lord. When I was growing up, I knew very little about Jesus and the church he established because we were not living our Catholic faith. We were merely Sunday church goers. Later on in college, I joined a church choir called Anawim, founded by my eldest brother. I became curious and more interested of the Catholic faith, and in time, I became a member of the Legion of Mary. I started nurturing my personal relationship with God and was inspired despite the difficulties of juggling between work and raising a family, ensuring the children are provided with their personal and educational needs. However, things did not go smoothly as planned, and with the permission of my husband, I left Philippines for Dubai to seek a greener pasture, so to speak. And here I am, working in Dubai for several years, and able to see my family and loved ones once or twice a year. My family is not typical. I have a Protestant father and a Catholic mother. My father, however, was not practicing his faith, and my mother used to criticize him for this. She had little knowledge of the teaching of the church about ecumenism. 
Actually, my father attends the Catholic Mass often. And finally, in mid-90s, during the Easter Vigil, father was baptized. After my father's baptism, mother became caring and understanding to him. It was a blissful sight to witness my aging parents' affection for each other. I know my mother has an ardent desire and I and my siblings decided to fulfill that wish. My mother dreams of having a church wedding. Despite the financial difficulties that each of us are facing, we managed to pool our resources together to grant her dream. God had been gracious to us. We were given free wedding privilege by the parish church where my brother serves as, as a catechist. And all of us were so happy to see the happiness and fulfillment of our parents, especially our mother. The Holy Spirit had touched our parents, especially our mother, who became even sweeter and loving. My parents both embraced their faith seriously and nurtured their personal relationship with the Lord. They also became members of the Couples for Christ at our province. I consider the opportunity to give our parents their church wedding a blessing as my mother joined our creator a few years later. It must have been one of my mother's great fulfillments to bind her love in the sacrament of marriage. When her time had come, she must have told Jesus on the cross, It is finished. As for me, there are more to accomplish in this life, to be triumphant and to my little and big crosses. I pray to God for strength to fulfill my duties as a mother, as a wife, and as a good child of God before I can finally say to the Lord, It is finished. I would like to conclude with a song, Sino Ako. Hiram sa Diyos ang aking buhay Ikaw at ako tanging handog lamang Di ko ninais na ko'y isilang Ngunit sa lamat dahil may buhay, ligaya ko nang ako'y isilang. Pagkat tao ay mayroong dangal, sino may pag-ibig, sinong nagmamahal, kundi ang tao, Diyos ang pinagmulan, kundi ako Kumambigyang halaga ang buhay kong handog, ang buhay kong iram sa Diyos, kundi ako nagmamahal.